What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 70 on the Vault Hunters SMP. Did you know that in archery, you have to stand 70 meters from the target? Interesting. Now first things first, we log in today on Monday and we received our champion's crate for our speed run. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see what goodies we got. First of all, we got an artifact. We also got a crystal. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, let's pop open this artifact. What do we get? And we got the, oh, the stormy one. He's the creator of this uh, texture pack. Pretty cool. So we're up to seven artifacts now and surprisingly no duplicates yet. Nice. We also get our trophy that we can go put next to our other trophy. Um, oh yes, of course. We're getting too many boss crates. Here, we'll set down a couple end tables and this is where we'll put our champion trophy. So we have the old 155 and the new 145. We'll have to see if we can keep beating that time record. And the rest of the stuff, just a bunch of other junk, but we did get four vault gold, so that's pretty good. Oh, and we also got this crystal that's impossible, 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 locked, destructive, raging, and have to kill the boss, 10 bosses, oh my gosh. This crystal seems terrible. There's gonna be one kajillion mobs. It's gonna destroy all your vault gear. The mobs are gonna deal double damage and you have to kill 10 obelisks, otherwise you die and lose all your stuff. Hmm, maybe we'll hold on to this crystal for a rainy day. Now in between episodes, I did a six hour live stream. Oh baby, we made some progress. Like you can see we're level 123. I'm saving our skill points for when we reach level 125 and we can pick up strength six, nice. Also, our boots, the speedy Godzilla that we used to have, is now given to our Eternal. As you can see, it's out of repairs and it was about to break. But we managed to get the Usain Bolt health upgrade. I don't know, chat came up with the name. Which is even better than the last one because it still has the plus one speed, but it also gives you six health, 5% parry, 5% resistance, which is really good. So if you could combine our idol, with our six health from our boots, six health from our pants, three health from our chest plate, four health from our helmet, six health from our idol. Let's eat up a biscuit of totality. We have a total of 21, 22, 23, 22, 25 and a half hearts. I'm not saying that we're basically unkillable, but I think we're the next best thing. Just look at all the hearts we have, heal it up. Yep, including our yellow absorption hearts, we have over three rows of hearts now. You'll love to see it. Other things we did, I did manage to get a mine rune. Nice, so we're gonna throw this onto our other CRP crystal, so that way we can go and find this mine room and hopefully get a lot more echo gems. In fact, let's do that now. Zoop, and has a mine room, nice. Also, an update of our echo, we need a stack and a half of echo gems to upgrade our inscription table. We are up to 50 echo gems now, and we even got an echo fuzzy pog from gambling in the soul shard menu. Right now, there's nothing too good in the soul shard menu. It looks like someone bought something earlier. I'm not even sure what that was. Also, as you guys know, we already have all of the relic sets, but we can take our extra relic sets, like for instance, this T Wolf set, craft it up into a relic statue take it to our smelty smelter over here and throw it in. And it will smelt down into a bitter lemon, which adds 30 seconds to the vault timer. Also during our stream, we managed to upgrade our backpack to the rare backpack with the help of Cory. And look at how much space is in our backpack now. This is just epic. So I'm keeping all our vault fruits in here in case we need to add more time to the vault timer. So here I managed to craft up four more relic statues and we're able to craft up oh, three more. Look at all these extra relic statues we have. It's just nuts. And we could smelt all these down into bitter lemons. You'll love to see it. Nice. That brings up us to a total of eight bitter lemons, which could add four minutes to the vault time. We also have a sour orange, which adds a full minute and the kiwis that only add five seconds. Also take a look at what our favor's at now. We now have plus six in Tedos, which can add either plus one luck or like 40% chest rarity, super good. We have minus three in Valara, but what I'm worried about is minus three in Wendar. We gotta get those Wendar numbers up because if we go negative uh, Wendar, it's gonna get rid of vault time, which is very bad. So last episode, we opened all our mystery boxes. The one before that, we opened all our relic booster packs. Now we're gonna open all 55 of our mod boxes. And let's see what kind of crazy random modded items we're gonna get. Oh baby, it's probably gonna be a lot of stones and stuff. And here's all the stuff we managed to get, including the stuff that's in my inventory. Uh, 
few upgrades for storage drawers. There's some mana steel, which is useful. An import bus is nice. A bunch of random decorative items, some frame drawers, some clocks, some cooking tables. A block of osmium, which is, uh, uh it's okay. Diving board, some dags. Yeah, just, just a bunch of random stuff, really. Now, what's pretty cool is we managed to grab a cow in a jar, which could be used as an infinite source of milk. You can see at the top of the tool tip, it's a gathering milk. Nice. So I asked you guys last episode if you wanted to see me fortune a all of the crazy amount of ores we have, including this 1,600 Beniatite and Laramar. And y'all, of course, commented yes. But to make this way easier on myself and y'all, there's an item in Batania that will help us place these items faster. It's called the World Shapers Astrolabe. Now the question is, do I have everything we need for the World Shapers Astrolabe from Batania? And the answer may surprise you. No, we have to make some elementium, which means we have to throw mana steel and perfect alexandrite through the portal portal, which honestly is quite easy to do. In fact, let's just make 10 of them. Why not? So let's go to our elven portal here. Dang, it feels like we haven't used this portally boy in forever. We just chuck in some junk and then we should get some stuff out. Dreamwood and elementium. Nice. All right, so with our dreamwood and elementium, can we make the world shapers astrolabe and yes we can nice oh so we can shift right click to change the size of the amount that we're placing nice i'm thinking we place five by five pillars of ores all right so let's hop into a quick time lapse of placing a lot of vault ores oh baby let's go And here we go, we placed every single ore to my name, and just look at those magnificent towers of Beniatite and Laramar. Uh, I may have messed up the placement a bit there, but these things go above the clouds. This is a 5x5 five five pillar, completely full. It's not hollow, I promise. Then we got the lesser stacks of Paidite, Wudadai, Alexandrite, and then we have all the different Pogor stacks. These ones are only 3x3, three three, because we don't have as many of the Pogors, but this is still a lot of Pogors, so I bet you guys are ready for us to fortune all these ores, you know. And then we got our wimpy pile of black opal, but hey, you know, it's trying. So I think we should start with our smallest piles, black opal. Boop! Oh, we got 53 black opal. That's a start. Next, let's crack open our Pogor, starting with Fuzzium. That's about four stacks of Fuzzium. Now it's time for my ore. Look at all those beautiful crowns. We got almost four stacks of that. Now for the Dandanite. Ooh, we have over a stack of that. Nice. And wow, that gave us like a ton. We got six stacks. Oh, I just realized we didn't actually fortune all the Fuzzies and all the CWGs. Look at it all. It's beautiful. Now for the rest of them, I'll sh just show at the end how much we got of each, but I will show you the fortuning. It's super satisfying. Next up is the Stircat ore. Next up is the Stormium. Next up is the Cory ore. Next up is that beautiful Code ore. Next we got that beefy looking Rob ore. Tasty. Next up is the Hellfire Ore. Look at all those rainbows. I feel like I just mined Lucky Charm cereal. And that was all the nine Pog Ore stacks. So let's take a look at how much Pog Ores we got. We have over four stacks of every single type. It looks like four and a half stacks. So we can make four and a half stacks of Pogs right now. Pretty good. The most we have is the, the Lucky Charms, you know, the Hellfire one. And the least amount we have appears to be Stormium. And of course our Pesky 53 Black Opal. Now for these next ones, I'm gonna have to get my Elytra out. Let's fly on top of the Painite Ore. Oh, these ones are gonna be so satisfying. We'll go from smallest to biggest, starting with the Painite. And let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I didn't quite get all of them. There's random pieces in the sky. Next up is Wudadai. I'll be quiet this time so you guys can listen to the satisfying fortuning. Thank you. 
Next up is Alexandrite. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The two towers of Beniatite and Laramar. And I just noticed that looks like Fuzzy also has some ore towers outside his land. <gasps> He's got Black Opal. I want it. All right, nothing to do but mine a lot of Laramar. Let's go. And finally, it's time for old big boy Benny. Let's go. And we did it. All the towers are gone. So how much did we get? This was our Pogors. This is how much Paynite we got. A good amount. We got a whole bunch of Wounded Eye. Nice. We got all this Alexandrite. Nice. And here we go. The Laramar. Almost a full diamond barrel full of Laramar. Like how many stacks is that? A ridiculous amount? And the Beniatite. Just absolute insanity. So, also look at our levels. We're at level 204 from the amount of experience we got from these ores. So now I'm going to throw all this, these gems into our system, and we can actually get a number for how many gems we have total now. And there we go. All of our gems are in our system. You can see for the Pog ores, we have a range of anywhere from 350 to 500. And then we have the 3,700 Wounded Eye, 2,800 Pay Eye, and 7,500 Betty, and 8,370 Laramar Gems. Wow. And look, we have 357 Black Opal, so I think we actually have enough Black Opal to make an Omega Pog now. The only issue is we actually need the Echo Gems, so we just gotta save up some Echo Gems now. And here we go. It's time to run the CRP Vault with the mine room, and we gotta go find that mine room. Hopefully we get a lot of echoes again. We got our Terra Shatterer ready to go. Oh baby, let's do this. And it begins. Now since this vault is dangerous and has, you know, raging and hard on it, I put super healing on it as well. Oh, and we get plus one luck. Thanks Thanos, don't really need it, but I appreciate what you're doing. So we got 30 minutes to find the mine room. I'ma be looking. Oh baby, I think I found it. Oh, it's the mind room, but it's not the wooded one. Let's go. All right, so we're immediately just going to go straight to the top and start mining this thing. Let's get our Terra Shatterer ready to go. Oh, baby. So let's hop into a time lapse of mining a lot of ores. Let's go. Well, this is awkward. I realized I left my uh, ore dank at home. Uh-oh. I mean, I left it at home because I was, um, uh, oh, this is really awkward. Because we were working on that time lapse. Now, luckily, some of my dinks have some extra slots, so we might be able to save ourselves here. All right, and there we go. I think we set all the filters that we need for the ores. Let's not do that again.
And there we go, we got another mine room completely destroyed. Well, mostly. And this time, it looks like we got seven Echo Ore. I'm gonna keep mining some of the scraps around here, but I think we found about everything. But I will say, the strays have been very stressful, because they deal six hearts of damage every tap. Like that, you see? Six hearts, gone. Oh, there's another six hearts. Gone. Um, yeah, a bit of a stressful vault. Due to the raging and hard modifiers, the strays hit like absolute trucks. So the best way to deal with them is to honestly run. And yep, I'll say that's uh, mine room well destroyed. Uh, I'm gonna go to other rooms. Who knows, maybe we'll find another mine room, you never know. Ooh, actually we found ourselves an end world room. Nice, so we might be able to find some good ores in here. Dandanite. Ooh, double black opal. You'll love to see it. And a Corried, okay. We got a Codium, we got more Black Opal. Man, this vault is amazing. Another double Black Opal? Yo, we're just getting so much Black Opal. This is amazing. Triple Black Opal, yes. Oh, and a Codium right behind it. Mm. Oh, we found one of my favorite rooms, the Temple Room. Now, sadly, this is a trapped vault, so mining all these chests is probably just going to have a bunch of traps. Oh, maybe not. I mean, I guess I'll get a bit greedy here and grab some chests. Oh gosh, we summoned a mob trap. Now these mobs, they hit so hard. Well, mainly the strays, so we have to be really careful about the strays. Will that stop me from getting these chests up here? Maybe, if I could land the jump. Let's go. Explosion. Nice. And you know what? Even with eight minutes left, I just want out of this vault. Let's fight the boss, because... I found out that strays actually do more damage to the boss does. Like, look at this. Boss only doing three hearts of damage? That's nothing. The strays do way more damage than the boss does. That's crazy to think about. Imagine if there's a, a stray boss. That would be devastating. Well, I feel like an idiot. My ores tank was in my backpack the whole time. I didn't have to do all that dank shuffling in the vault. I guess I kind of panicked, huh? And now let's see how many ores we managed to grab from that vault. Da 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 da. Check it out! Aroa, Betiotite, Larimar. We literally just fortuned all our ores, and now we got a ton of ores again. Here's our nine Pog ores, got about 20 of each. 62 Black Opal and seven Echo. So let's go ahead and lay out all of our Black Opal and all of our Echo, and we got some more fortuning to do. Go ahead and leave in the comments how many Echo ore will we get this time, because I know last time we got really lucky and got 31. Oh, if we could just get really lucky again, that would be so good. And here we go, it's fortune in time. Let's start with the black opal and boom! Look at all that black opal. Let's take a look at our gem stank. Let's see how much we got. 282 black opal. You'll love to see it. That's almost enough for an Omega Pog, just there. And last, but definitely not least, oh, the echo, I'm so nervous. All right, let's see if you guys in the comments were right. Here we go. Ooh, we got echoes, 27, okay. You know, that's about what I would have expected. We didn't get too lucky this time. It looks like we averaged four per drop. So that brings our total echo count up to 77. Now we also have an echo pog, so we can add eight. So that would bring us to 21. We only need 11 more echo gems in order to upgrade our vault inscription table to the max level. That's exciting. As for the rest of all these ores, we can bring them back up to the third floor so we can start building up another Massive collection of ores. Yeah, there's no shortage of ores on our channel. And there we go, our ore attic is nice and restocked up. And I realized I got a lot less paydite ore than I expected. Uh, I might have forgot to set a filter for paydite and we just straight up didn't collect that any. Whoops. It's fine, it's not like we have thousands of paydite gems anyway. And with that, we're out of time for today's episode. Isn't it crazy that we got seven echo ore in one vault? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG, out.